All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're talking about water bottle cages, but not just your regular water bottle cages. We're talking about one of the sickest water bottle cages you could own. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon or exercise is checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So right onto the video, we are talking about water bottle cages today, and we are talking about the sickest water bottle cage that you can own. But before we get into the sickest water bottle cage you can own, let's talk about the different type of water bottle cages there are. So first off, you have just your basic aluminum ones, kind of like what I have on the fat bike, the Trek 3700. Don't think they're either painted black or silver. Pretty standard. You can pick them up for like five, seven bucks, something along those lines. Very inexpensive. Then you have like your plastic cages above that, which generally have like a clamp style so the ball fits inside and it holds it from the sides. Works pretty good. Then of course you have stuff fancier than that. You have some carbon fiber cages, stuff like I have my road bike there that are fully made of carbon fiber, super lightweight. And again, still have that kind of clamping feel to them, that same as the plastic cages have, same clamping motion as those. Then moving up from there, you have a stainless steel cage, which looks very similar to an aluminum cage. However, it's made out of stainless steel. With that, it's better at fighting corrosion, it's lighter weight, and it looks pretty cool as well. Now, the next step up from that, and the, probably the coolest one I would say is going to be titanium. Everybody loves titanium bikes, everyone loves titanium parts. Not only, not only do they function really good, they just look super sick when you put them on their bikes. Titanium stuff is probably the coolest stuff you can put on your bike, period. So what we're looking at today is a water bottle cage from a company called Lithe Goods. Now, Lithe Goods is a very small company based in Georgia that makes titanium water bottle cages is what they make. And they make really sick looking titanium cages. Now, you might be like, okay, tool titanium cage. It's kind of that brushed raw titanium, which is really cool looking and goes pretty good with it goes pretty good with the Poseidon Redwood here, in my opinion. I think that's gonna look pretty good on the white, flat white with the black bike. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. But they offer more than just your standard raw titanium cage. They actually have connections with the company in Iowa that will actually anodize the cage and make it really whatever color combination you want. They offer different color combinations throughout the year. They offer whatever you'd like for your specific bike. Obviously mine is white, don't have much to it, but if you had a cool color scheme, they could probably get it anodized to match your bike, which is pretty sweet. That's something you don't see very often. It makes it a little cool personal touch for your bike. Now, let's talk about price here. Obviously we're talking titanium here. So titanium is gonna cost a little bit of change. You know, I said a basic aluminum cage is gonna cost you like five to seven bucks, maybe 10 bucks at the most. Now this titanium cage from Life Goods, it's $40 a cage. Anybody's like, oh, that's a lot of money for a water bottle cage. And yeah, you're right, it is a lot of money for a water bottle cage. Now, why would you go with a titanium cage, it's 40 bucks. Why you gotta spend 40 bucks on a water bottle cage? Well, that's insane. Why are you spending that much on a water bottle cage? When you wanna get two, you gotta spend 80 bucks on water bottle cages. That's like crazy. I can spend 10, I can spend 20 bucks and be done with some basic aluminum cages. What's the point of a titanium one? So a titanium cage, they're pretty much taught as a lifetime cage. You buy the cage once and it moves from bike to bike with you. They essentially want you to keep this cage for the lifetime of your cycling career, your cycling experience, your cycling adventure. They want you to use this same bottle cage on every bike you go through every bike you have you can wear this bottle cage between those bikes and you'll continue to have a really nice bottle cage all the time now you might be like that still doesn't make any sense i can still buy four sets of water bottle cages for the price of just two titanium water bottle cages and yeah you're right you definitely could benefits to a titanium cage obviously this thing is ridiculously light like i have never felt a water bottle cage as light as this guy before now for most of us it's not going to matter too much we just want we don't really care about a water bottle cage water bottle cage is just it's just out there with something we got to put on our bike it's there other benefit non-marking you like your nice water bottles titanium cage is going to keep them looking nice you put a standard aluminum cage or a plastic cage or a carbon cage on there, guess what? That paint's gonna rub off on your water bottle, scratch the paint, scratch the, scratch the plastic. It's not gonna keep your water bottle looking as good. It's gonna be bad. You want your water bottles to keep looking nice like me? You gotta have a nice cage that doesn't mark up your water bottles. Pretty nice thing. Pretty nice, pretty nice when you got some cool water bottles that either match your bike or you love a water bottle. This is gonna keep it safe the entire time, keep it looking really nice. Another thing, titanium. It's ridiculously strong. I have broken every other cage there is out there except for stainless steel i have broken almost every other cage out there i've ridden tons of water bottle cages in my life and i've broken almost every single one aluminum cages broken plastic cages oh yeah dead broken carbon cages broken so i have broken all of them the only ones i have not broken are titanium titanium is one that is going to last a long time 
and hold your bottle secure for as long as you need it to. So that's really the big deal. You don't have to worry about your water bottle getting marked up. You don't have to worry about it breaking. It's gonna last you forever and it's going to be a really sick addition to your bike. So let's talk more specifics about Light's Goods cage here. So obviously it's titanium. So this thing uses a titanium tubing. So it's not wire, it's actually a tube. So if I, if I flick it when it's on the bike, it actually sounds hollow. It's kind of cool. It's a weird sound. It's a weird sound and it's really neat to have on your bike, honestly, to have something that's just a hollow tube, but ridiculously strong. Along with that, it's not just weld, it's got a laser weld. You might be able to see it, I can barely see it, but it is right there, right where my finger is, it is laser welded together. So it is a very, very fine weld that you wouldn't notice. A lot of other cages, they either hide it under the mounting bracket or is just out there in the open. This guy's nice and hidden. You would never know that it's so welded. You would think it's just one solid piece of titanium. The weight on these guys is like 35 grams. And I can attest to that. When you pick this box up from my, when I picked this box up from my PO box, it felt like there's nothing in the box. It's insane how light these cages are. And I can say I've never felt a lighter cage than this. The other cool thing about them, you have a titanium cage, right? Cool. Oh, uh, you gotta use your standard water bottle page bolts. Nah, that's kind of a bummer. Nah, they give you titanium mounting hardware here with a t20 head and they give you a little tiny torx wrench to tighten your bolts up and why do they give you a little tiny torque wrench because you only need to tighten these to like two newton meters they don't have to be super tight this is going to be all you need you don't need anything bigger than this you definitely don't need an impact you don't need any of that super super small wrench made to tighten these down and get them to that perfect tightness so it comes with all of that to give you that full titanium experience that most other things are not going to give you so it's a really cool thing you get a nice titanium cage you get nice titanium bolts you can get it whatever color you want and it works really really good so we're gonna throw this onto the gravel bike because i want some sick water bottle cages for the gravel bike we're gonna get this one installed show you how simple it is to just get this thing on how cool they look and we'll go from there so over at the bike obviously i already got the front one installed but we're gonna install everyone and show you guys how easy this is obviously if you've installed a water bottle cage before you know it's the easiest thing ever that you can do to a bike so we're gonna throw one of the bolts in line it up with our hole here there we go and our one bolt will hold the water bottle cage kind of in place for us and then you can get your other second bolt squeeze that guy in here so once you get started you can use your little tool here and you can just kind of use the other end Tighten them up a little bit, get them roughly secure. We'll do the same for our bottom one down here. I forgot to mention one of my favorite parts about these cages. I have a lot of mounting points on this gravel bike and I need to get everything to fit and it has to fit pretty precisely. And some things are a little too big, some things are a little too small and I wanna carry as much water as I possibly can. So with trying to fit everything as neatly and tightly as possible, these water bottle cages have slots and they're pretty decently sized slots. So if you need this to be a little higher, slide it up a little higher if you need it to be lower slide it down a little lower it works great you can slide that guy wherever you want it however you want it for the front i had to precisely get this just right so I, my water balls wouldn't hit each other worked great i could get exactly where i wanted it tighten down that exact spot fit as big of a water ball as i want here I can put like a 24 ounce water ball in here without hitting my pack up here without hitting this other water bottle that works great. You have all sorts of different options for mounting these guys, getting them all set. So in my case, for my fitment, I would slid all the way up as it can go. It's pretty much the bolts are at the bottom of the slots. And I just tighten this guy up. Well, it stops and that's pretty much it. Nice titanium bolts with the little washer underneath them. You can't tighten it more than that. I call that pretty good. I call it two Newton meters. I think that's pretty, pretty solid there. And you are set with some sick looking titanium cages. And let's see. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's like the hollow titanium. You can play a symphony on your bottle cages, man. Woo! So now you have your lifetime water bottle cage, your sick looking titanium bottle cage installed on your bike and you're set for life. You can swap that in any bike you get. If you're a guy that likes to swap your bike out based on seasons, throw those on a bike, swap them out. It's raw titanium matches anything. Raw titanium goes anywhere. It's timeless. Titanium's not going anywhere. It's gonna look cool wherever you go. Get some titanium cages. So I'd like to give Life Goods a big thank you for sending out these cages for me so I could try them out put them on my bike, share them with you guys, share the cool things with titanium cages with you guys. I'm gonna have a link down in the description below so you can check out some water bottle cages for yourself. 
check out these guys. And I'll also link down below to the company that does the anodizing for them because they have amazing stuff. I follow them on Instagram and they do some really cool bottle cages and really cool anodizing schemes that just look amazing. They look so cool. So if you did enjoy the video, give this video a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love chatting with you guys. Love answering questions you guys have. And we will see you in the next video. And remember, titanium is king.